Welcome to Theory Crafting with Benevolent Bodie, where we talk about theory, we talk about crafting in five minutes or less. In this special episode, we are going to take a new character and level it to 50 in alchemy in five minutes or less. Why level alchemy? A crafter or non-crafter can benefit from the alchemy skill line passives, which will Increase the duration of poisons and potions by 30% Increase the number of items crafted without increasing the number of ingredients consumed in the process Unlock 3 reagent crafting to allow tri-trait poisons and potions And finally unlock top tier crafting grits will earn a chance of getting sealed grits, which can be used to earn vouchers Sold for gold or completed to earn an incredible amount of experience points. Getting started, you will need three skill points. This is automatic when you create a new character and skip the tutorial. You will need the reagents and solvents and oils identified on the next slide. You will need the bag or bank space needed for at least one formula and all the materials. If you do not have a crafting bag, this is approximately eight slots. You will need access to a alchemy crafting station. Finally, it's highly recommended to boost your inspiration. This is your crafting experience through ESO Plus, the Orc Racial Passive, or at least 30 championship points in the Thief section in the Tower Tree to unlock that inspiration boost perk. If you got the championship points, here's how you unlock the inspiration boost. You go into the green section, that's the Thief. You find the tower tree and here you'll find the inspiration boost right in the middle. Doesn't matter where you spend the points, you just need to spend at least 30. Here's your shopping list. The challenging part will be obtaining the oils and solvents. For Proficiency Level 1, you will need 20 Clear Water or Icker. For Proficiency Level 2, you will need 40 Pristine Water or Slime. For Proficiency Level 3, you will need 41 Cleansed Water or Gall. And finally, for Proficiency Level 4, you will need a incredible 152 Filtered Water or Tamaranthine. The reagents are easier, you just need 253 of any two reagents that share the same trait. They have four, you just need to find one that matches. Here are some tips. As mentioned, any two reagents sharing a trait will work for leveling. Here are the traits with the most reagents. You can find this information in the accompanying written guide. And you will also find a link to the other 28 or so traits if you want to use some other reagents. Here's how we level. You create a new character, you skip the tutorial, and you claim your level 2 and level 3 rewards. Next, you'll need an alchemy table. Now we begin the repetitive process of making stuff and spending skill points. You will need approximately 20 or so level 10 poisons or potions. After spending your skill point, you'll make another 40 of the level 20 poisons or potions. Next, you'll make 41 of the level 30 poisons or potions. And finally, for the last proficiency, you will need to make a whopping 152 poisons or potions. Next, celebrate because you'll be a level 50 Master Alchemist. Alright, let's take a look and see how it is in action. So we've created our new character. It only has one skill point. So we'll have to claim those level 2 and level 3 rewards to unlock those additional skill points. Once we're done, there are those three skill points that we need for this process.
Next, we'll need a crafting station, so I'm going to use the alchemy station in my house. Since you've probably seen your share of loading screens, I'm going to skip that for you this time around. Once you use the station for the first time, you will unlock the skill line. Without any skill points, you will be able to make up to a level 10 poison or potion. Next, you'll need to select two reagents. In this demo, I'm using Blue Entiloma and Water Hyacinth because I can find them by sorting the list by name twice. They're at the top and the bottom, so they're easy to find. No, and until you've unlocked a trait, you will only be able to make one item. Having unlocked the trait, let's continue to finish off the remaining level 10 potions. Since we need 20, we'll add another 19. Ding! Level 10. The next tier is locked, so we have to spend a skill point. Let's spend that skill point. If you're not sure which solvent and oil that you will need, it will show on the passive tooltip for the solvent proficiency. Back at the table, let's swap out the solvent or oil and let's make 40 level 20 potions or poisons. Ding! Level 20. Let's spend that skill point. For level 30 you will need cleanse water and gall to make your potions or poison. Back to the station, this time we'll need to make 41 poisons or pots. If you're on PC, you can increase the quantity by 10 by holding the shift key as you click. If you don't have ESO Plus or Championship points, then you're going to have to tweak these quantities. I recommend using these quantities listed and then just add 1 to 5 more each time until you hit the next tier. Remember the last quantity is in the field so you will have to decrease it to make these small increments. Ding! Level 30. Let's spend that skill point and note the next solvent and oil. Yep, back to the station. Time to make more, but this time we're gonna make a lot. That shift click technique I taught you earlier, it's gonna come in handy now because you're gonna need about 152. Ding! Achievement unlocked, Master Alchemist. Congratulations! Thanks for watching! Want more content like this? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Didn't take notes? 
no problem. There's a full write-up on my website at benevolentvoting.ca. Until next time, take care, good luck, and see you in Tamriel.